You're watching Carolina and Company Live, your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in the area, it's on Carolina and Company Live. And hello, everybody. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. The middle of the week, Wednesday. And boy, do we have a good show lined up today. We sure do. I mean, what a great show. Well, there's your lineup right there. Of course, starting with our Hollywood Minute, rolling into our video of the day. And then your favorite celebrity might be having a birthday. That's right. I'm not having one today, but somebody's having one. Also, oh, talking you're a about celebrity? <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> talking about today's guest. We've got somebody on here talking about Flip Flop Day. We're going to tell you about that charity. And we've got, uh, let's see, we got... Um, Amy. Amy's on talking about uh, <laughs> flowers. I can't remember everything. <laughs> oh my goodness, a big fundraiser uh, for children with cancer, as well as talking to a new reporter we have. She just got here and she's doing a fantastic job. All of that and more right after your Hollywood Minute. Yes! The Academy Awards telecast has bounced around the calendar recently. Now it's bouncing back. Next year's ceremony is February 9th, the earliest Oscars show ever. But the Academy and ABC have announced the 2021 and 2022 Oscars will return to the show's usual date, the last Sunday in February. Very exciting. Secure the bridge. Those weapons can't get into the city. How you set them up? File, knock them down. Avengers Assemble as a video game. Fans at the E3 Expo in LA got the first look at Marvel's Avengers A-Day, which was announced back in 2017. Not many details have been released about the game. It's due in stores next May. Radiohead strikes back against hackers. The British band says cyber attackers stole hours of old unreleased material and demanded a ransom. To foil them, Radiohead is making the entire archive available for download, with the proceeds going to an environmental group. The band warns the material was never intended for public consumption. Still, better than paying hackers. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. All right, talking about our video of the day, get this, astronomers are scratching their heads over a huge lump beneath the moon's surface. Scientists say at Baylor University, they discovered the mass and say it's about five times larger than Hawaii, um, than the big island of Hawaii. All right, it lies at the bottom of a huge crater created by an astro asteroid impact about four billion years ago. One theory says it's metal left over after the impact. Is that true? <laughs> The mass could be a gold mine for scientists exploring the history of our solar planet. All How right. about that? Very good. All right. Let's talk might a little be, bit about today. Might be aliens. It could be one of their old spaceships. I wonder crash. if there's the same people on another planet. So, like, there's another Cecil. What, what would you do? <laughs> I don't know. I don't <laughs> our director know. said, please All right. no. <laughs> All right. Today's, today's June 12th. It's Wednesday, and this is Magic Day. That's all. So, it is also. Poof, and you're gone. You're gone. Pet <laughs> Appreciation Day. What a crazy day in here today. All right, let's start off here with 1985. Chris Young, 33 years old, okay. Country singers, number one hit, The Man I Want to Be. All right, 1986, Kendra Wilk uh, Wilkinson, she is 32 years old, former playmate. She lived in the Playboy Mansion. And with The Girls Next Door, she was on the reality show, The Girls Next Door. Okay, 1939, the National Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum was dated, dedicated in Cooperstown, New York. All right, talking about 1963, Cleopatra starring Elizabeth Taylor. It premiered in Rivoli Theater in New York City. It was on last week. Really? I watched part of it. Huh? I sure did. All right, from the road, all the part where you learn something every day. Listen to this now. Oh, boy. In I California didn't read it. and three other U.S. states, ladies' nights are against the law. Because they're gender discrimination. That's right. So you can't have ladies' night oh in California and three other U.S. states. You can get offended about just about anything Everything these days. Everything in the Holy world. Moly. That's it for the know-it-all department today. We've got a great show lined up. Stay with us.
All right, a live look right now out in Georgetown, still showing you that light rain that is falling across the area, but traffic is moving smoothly despite the ponding on some area roadways. Of interesting note, it was 72 degrees this morning at 5 a.m. in Georgetown. Currently, that rain cooled air doing its work at 66. Across much of the PD, we have warmed up. We were down to 63 in Hartsville uh, earlier this morning. Now a good 10 degrees warmer at 73, 75 in Darlington. And the fact there is no rain right now across the PD, and we'll show that to you in just a second, is allowing for these temperatures to warm. Where there is still some rain, Marion, Johnsonville, King Street, Manning, Georgetown, and Myrtle Beach, those are the locations still stuck in the 60s. We've got a lot of rain to our south, out through the low country. That is on its way northbound. We also have a few light showers out there, just about to hit the I-95, I-74 junction south of Lumberton. We do have a couple of showers there from Carolina Forest to Myrtle Myrtle Beach, south through Georgetown, Plannersville, Polly's Island. But again, the big uh, storm complex of itself still south through the low country. That is going to move northward today. In fact, we're going to see more showers as we head into the afternoon hours, but the rain will quickly come to an end as we approach 9, 10, and especially after midnight. More clouds tomorrow, decreasing cloudiness in the afternoon, so more sun by the afternoon and evening hours. It will be breezy, but a return to the 80s after a chilly day today in the 60s and 70s. And the rain next week, not from a storm system, but from the sea breeze. The following is paid for by A Oak Farms. Amy's here from A Oak Farms and she's going to tell you what to do, when to plant, when not to plant, what kind of flowers to do, whatever you need, this lady can do it. Well, you know, the, the best part of this whole thing is when not to plant. Today's a perfect example. Tell me about that. When it rains. Really? Everyone thinks it's great because, oh, that's just natural water. You plant them. No, that's too much water in the ground. And when you put the plants in all that water, you're going to rot the root. So then you're killing the flower. I didn't know that. See, well, know. that's why you don't plant flowers. I don't plant flowers. <laughs> you're right on that. All right, now we're going to talk about what's coming up season wise. What are you planting all now? Yeah, what's we happening? are still planting landscape beds for summer, okay. tropicals, summer flowers. Um, but believe it or not, September, you'll start to plant your mums. Those are plant walls. Those are actually living about a thousand plants in those walls. Really? Um, so a lot yeah. of resorts, businesses, they... Yes. I do a lot of those in Raleigh, to be honest. Okay. Mm -hmm. A lot of industrials. Mm -hmm. Very... They're about 15, 10 feet tall. Some of the best flowers right now to plant. I mean, it's hot. We've not had a lot of rain, so today's a good day yeah. in the plant world. Yes. Um, talk <laughs> about plants, you know, that do really well. Tropicals, of course. Tropicals, your hibiscus, your ties, your crotons, um, sun patients, but sometimes it gets a little too hot for them. And yeah, then mine died, actually, because it yeah. <laughs> and they too hot. They require a lot of water, but Vinca, Lantana, they all can handle the drought, so that's what you need to that's plant. Well, need. the most amazing thing when you walk around the station, you see all of these flowers, little trees, everything mm -hmm. that Amy puts out here. Now, they come in and take care. Y'all take care of that. That's we right. do. We tell you don't that's touch so the flowers. <laughs> I and don't. for you, don't talk, don't sing, <laughs> just, don't, just look. don't even walk by. <laughs> yes, no, if we come in, they shine them, they change them out if they're not healthy. We design them, yes. They trim them up and everything. They do. They so them. if a business calls you right now and they want flowers put all around their business, mm -hmm. y'all will take care of that. Y'all come in ever so often and clean them up and do everything. Every week. They're out there every week. And for exterior, we're out there three times a week. Wow. Well, and, and the thing is, too, is it's you're not just going to come throw stuff in at any you know random place. You're yeah. going to come in. You're going to make a design, sit down and yes. talk to you. Mm -hmm. It's full service, right? And you'll see the design before we put it in. Very good. That's an amazing thing. Right. You know, now, they can do this for the house, too, which is great. Oh, yeah. They My problem house, is I kill business. the flowers, but that's why you know. we maintain them. Okay, good. So yeah. That's the go. good part about <laughs> it. Okay, all right. So, you got anything? What's, um, what's coming up next, uh, you know, after the summer? What kind of well, plants do you do? Well, to be honest, actually, we're starting to talk about Christmas decorations. Christmas already? Christmas yes. in uh -huh. July. <laughs> yes, I called the client today and said, hey, we need to meet. Yeah, with commercial properties, if you're putting in five, ten Christmas trees, garlands, you know, wreaths, things like that, yeah. 300 point set is, we need to get that on the schedule now. We need to get designers ready. Get sure. A, you know, so, get so a plan you can, in place. So you can book out. But even if you mm -hmm. wait a little bit longer, normally you can fit them in. Yes, I can. Okay. I can always fit in. You can always in. do it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you <laughs> can fit them in. And not just businesses now. Hey. Listen, they can come to your house. Yeah, we do. And we even can put your decorations up. 
That's cool. Oh, yeah. So you've got something from grandma or, you know, an heir yes. family heirloom. You'll work it into the design. Correct. Which we is sure awesome. can. Hey, yes. we talked the other day. I actually saw Amy out and about. Um, <laughs> we talked about a pool deck that you put in. You put in a bunch of flowers, so you can do that as well, right? Pool decks? Absolutely. Put them in the ground. We can do containers. We can make sure they're irrigated. And all you have to do is look at them. Wow. I have to and enjoy. enjoy. Nothing's too big for Aoke Farms, right? Oh, nothing is too nothing. big for Aoke Farms. Amy. Nothing's too small either. Amy, I love <laughs> it's my favorite interview. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we got more coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. All right, now talking about an organization, Cancer Heroes of the Carolinas are having a big fundraiser coming up. It's a water poker run set for June the 22nd, raising money for children in Ori and Georgetown County who are diagnosed with cancer. That's right. Jennifer's with us now. We've got a couple of, uh, you know, kids with us today to talk a little bit too. But first off, tell us exactly what this. Yeah, uh, Cancer you know, Heroes. The, Let's talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Cancer yeah, Heroes of the Carolinas is a nonprofit 5013C that uh, supports local children here in Orion Georgetown counties whose children are battling cancer. We help with anything from medical uh, expenses, gas cards to and from the hospital. We help them pay their bills if they're electricity things like that. Uh, when a child has cancer, one, if not both, of the parents sometimes lose an income. I was about and to so say, And so we yeah. kind of come in and pick up the pieces and help offset some of those costs that they're they're not able to pay because they don't have two and, incomes. And some of the stress of that. You know, having children, I cannot imagine one of my children having cancer. So just that emotional stress, you guys come and take kind of the stuff you can away from them so they can focus on their children. We do. Right? We try to do some fun things. We help monetarily, but we also try to do some fun things and we do things for the parents. We okay. do, you know, mom's night out sometimes. A lot of times these families are so into what they're doing to help take care of and save Forget their about children themselves. that yeah. they don't always think yeah. about themselves. All right, now who do you have with you now? This is Jonah, and Jonah was diagnosed, I think around 18 months with brain cancer. Okay. And so he went through a really tough time and um, right Look now- Look at you now, you're so strong. Currently, yeah, looking... he's uh, four years old and uh, the cancer is at bay and okay, so good. you know we're going to hope it stays that way awesome dude and, right. uh, so well, let's go this is declan maloney declan is a 14 year old boy yes, yes. who um <laughs> actually was in my daughter lily which is why i started the cancer heroes of the carolinas because my daughter had cancer and declan happens to be in her class at school and he was just recently diagnosed in november yeah november 30th yeah. You going to St. James? Yes. You want to say hey to the girls? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, oh, so man, we're having a poker run, loggerhead poker run yes. fundraiser. Tell us the details yes. of what's happening. The loggerhead po water poker run is going to be held on the intercoastal. You do not have to go to all the stops. It's kind of different than a motorcycle poker run. You can kind of go at your own pace. Cool. We're all going to end at Bucksport with a 52-foot houseboat that's going to have some entertainment on it. We're also going to have the jump jam, which is the big green thing that you see yeah. in the inlet. Oh, yeah, those are fun. Yes. We're going to have the yes. jump jam there for the kids to get on the jump jam and whatnot. And um, What time does it start? Yeah. It starts at 11 and ends at 5. All right, okay. now this is important. You wanted to mention something else. We've got 30 seconds. What else did you want to mention? About the Lily Palooza. Yeah, about you're trying to branch out is yeah. what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, we, like I said, we, we started the 5013C and started branching out from the Lily Palooza. Yeah. And we're really excited okay. about this event. And if they want information about it, yes. um, our website is a little bit under construction, okay. but Facebook would be a great place to find us. All right. Thank you all. Appreciate both of you. Thanks for being with us. Sit right, right there. Don't go anywhere. Good job. We'll be right back. And welcome back. You know, when we have new reporters or new anchors, we try to let you get the inside on them. And we have a new reporter that's just started with us not too long ago, Anjali Patel. And now we're going to find out a little bit about her. All right. Now, where did you come from? What I'm area? from Greenville, South Carolina. Were you working in Greenville before coming here? I was actually at USC in Columbia right before coming here. So I just graduated um, in May. Just so your first job? Yes, this is my first job. <laughs> well, how about this? I mean, you come to the beach now. That's got to be a great job. Yeah, it's nice. And actually, um, I've got some family down here. My stepdad went to Saucasty High School. So um, I'm no stranger to Myrtle Beach. Yeah. So you got a great place. And all right, now we've got to find out some things about you. Do you have a hobby? What kind of hobby do you have? Um, well, I love the Carolina Panthers, so that's oh. one of my hobbies. I like to support them every year, even though <laughs> they're not so great all the time. <laughs> They're coming back. They're yeah. coming back. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I guess I'm just so used to being in school, there's no time for hobbies. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Now, you've lived in Greenville for how long? Um, since I was about three. Three years old? Yeah. All right. Now, what do you like about the beach area now that you're working here? 
Well, it's a nice change of pace. Um, Greenville is just getting touristy now, but I kind of like the touristy aspect of Myrtle Beach. It's a nice, um, like I said, change of pace, and my apartment is steps away from the beach, you know, a beautiful part of it down here, and it's nice. <laughs> well, you better get ready. The tourists are coming because the summer's <laughs> here, and down here at the beach is a great place, yeah. but it brings in a lot of money for us. You know, we, we have to have this. Now, reporting. Your first job reporting, you've been all over so far. I've been watching you. How do you like it? <laughs> I like it so far. It's definitely a great way to learn a new community because you get to cover all of the different issues. Um, like I said, just yesterday I was in Robinson County, so I got to see a different part of our market. Um, and it's nice, and I, I like the fact that our market is so large. Um, my stepbrother actually lives up in Florence, so maybe someday I'll get to go up to Florence. <laughs> all right, now i got to ask you this. All right, covering a story, do you like a feature story or would you like to do hard news mostly? I like actually, um, I'm still kind of figuring out um, my, you know, what area I really enjoy so far, but I really, in um, college, I enjoyed politics because USC is yeah. in Columbia. Why? So we got to do a lot of state house stories. So I'm looking forward to maybe doing some things with the local governments here and covering local elections and things like that. All right. Now, what days are you working where well, everybody can watch for you? Um, well, starting next week, probably, I will be in my normal schedule, which will be Saturday through Wednesday. So my weekends will be Thursday and Friday. All right. The new person always gets to work the weekend. <laughs> yeah. That's the way it but is. But it's all right, though. It'll be fun. <laughs> well, that's going to be. We welcome you to, uh, you know, to the team here at WPDE TV 15. Thank you. I'm Thank excited. Thank you so much. Good luck. If you need anything, come see me. I'm the old guy here. Absolutely. Okay? All right. Thank you a lot. Thank you. All right. We got more coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. All right, coming up is National Flip-Flop Day at Tropical Smoothie Cafes. We have one right around the corner here from us. And, uh, That's right. This is going to help raise money now for, you know, uh, Camp Sunshine is what it's called. And Randy's right. with us. We're going to find out more about it. That's right. Friday starting 2 o'clock, we're talking about Flip-Flop, National Flip-Flop Day, Tropical Smoothie. What is this all about? Well, Camp Sunshine yes. is an organization that Tropical Smoothie partnered with like 10 years ago. Okay. And it's, we send uh, families, not only just the kids, but the whole families with life-threatening illnesses, cancer, and the whole family gets to go to camp. And last year, uh, we raised over a million dollars wow. overall as a company to send families to Camp Sunshine. It's up in Maine. That's incredible. Yes. That, what, a, what a great organization. So Friday, if I come into Tropical Smoothie, I need to wear... You need to wear flip-flops. That's right. <laughs> and then you, uh, we're giving away smoothies all afternoon from 2 o'clock on. And uh, you don't have to give anything. I mean, we'll have a little tub out there if you want to throw a little change or whatever in there. But we're giving away smoothies all afternoon, starting at two o'clock. We've done it. We do it every year. So come it's get a back smoothie, to the community. and then yeah. you know, give a donation. Make a donation if you want. If you want to, that's cool. We well, were talking cool. about We're doing good. this for, gosh, a million dollars last year. How many different uh, tropical smoothies are there? Well, there's wow. a little over 700 now. Are they? So overall, we got they raised about a million, a little over a million dollars last year. That's so that's fantastic. a lot of kids going to camp. And, and families as well, thing. which I that love the that the whole gets family gets to, gets to go because an illness for a child who's severely ill, it's a family deal. It's not just the kid. It is. It is. And, that, and we get stories coming to us about how it was great for the whole family. Yeah. Awesome. I like Fantastic. that. I like that. We got some shots right there, and it's flip flop yeah. day. Don't forget, it's Friday. If you want a free smoothie, you wear a, your flip flops, and don't forget, make a donation just absolutely. because it's free. You can still throw a couple of bucks in there and help That's them out. True. Yeah, a absolutely. Million dollars. God, Let's talk about like now. To see you brought some goodies for us today. Yeah. Let's talk a little Let's bit about, about what you got. Well, I've got the sunshine smoothie, which is gonna yeah. we're going to be giving away all afternoon on Friday. I've got an island green, which has got spinach and kale in it. It's one of my top sellers. A uh, peanut butter cup, which is somebody's favorite. Uh -huh. Cecil. Got Cecil. I've got a couple wraps, Thai chicken wrap, buffalo chicken wrap. i got sandwiches. we got flatbreads. Good, healthy food. Uh, and, and the best part, stuff. like, you know, with the smoothies is I really like the health nut. It's my favorite. But I always customize it a little bit. And you can do that at Tropical you Smoothie, do it. right? So you don't, around, do what you, you want. do. You, you're not going to go in. We're not going to pull the little knob and the smoothie comes out. We put <laughs> it all in there. If you want mango, strawberries, uh, you know, peanut butter, we got protein supplements and everything. We'll, we'll make it for you. Custom make a smoothie oh, well, for you. Well, that's it. That's right. That's it. I love it. Uh, Randy's lo he's located right around the corner from us. Yeah, uh, University and, Boulevard, yeah, right, right over there. Right, right over around there. the corner. Okay, it's open. Your hours are what? Eleven until eleven to eight o'clock at night. In the evening, yeah. And Every day. Sunday to seven. Yeah. Okay. And all the college students eat there. Absolutely. Everybody including us. There. Including me. I That's right. So, so again, customer. Friday, what time? <laughs> Two o'clock on. Just come in wearing your flip flops, and uh, we'll have some fun. It's all about uh, starting the money. summer out. Thanks, Randy. You Thanks bet. for being here. I'll get my boss right. to take us back where he can pay for it again. <laughs> all right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
It's funny, it's crazy, and you never know what Cecil or Amanda are going to say or do. Chewing gum burns about 11 calories. It's per hour. Carolina and Company live weekdays on ABC 15, a fun show that makes you laugh and makes you feel good about where you live. If you just moved to the area, Carolina and Company Live is the show you need to watch. You'll find out about everything going on along the Grand Strand, PD and Border Belt. Check it out weekdays at noon on WPDE ABC 15. All right, what an awesome show. Lots of really great things going on in the community, and we always have great things going on in this community to help people who need help. You know, talking about the camp right. fundraiser, talking about Camp Sunshine, sending yeah. families to camp, and that's what it's about here. That's right. You check it out. Tropical Smoothies uh, Friday. That's right. You can get a free, Guess if you wear your flip-flops, and Randy had his flip-flops Do you have on. a pair of flip-flops? Yeah, I have two or three pairs. Let's go, Friday, All right after work. I can do it. We'll be there, Randy. You hear that? <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed the show, and we will see you back here tomorrow wrapping up the week, getting ready for the weekend. That's right. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you here tomorrow a with weekend. a new show. A great week, week. A weekday. We'll, 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 we don't know what's we don't going know on. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>